Hello everyone and welcome back to Farming Simulator 15 Gold Edition with none other than me, Blue Star. Um, hope everybody's doing okay. Um, I'm actually just loading into the game. Um, this is my first recording that I'm doing after the Windows 10 update. I literally just this past week um, went ahead and did do the Windows 10 upgrade. Um, so I'm hoping we ha don't have any major game glitches or issues. I do know it took me a little while to, you know, get it downloaded, get the patches updated. Um, I'm seeing a little bit of terror, just barely right there when I move the mouse kind of fast here, right at the top of the screen. Not major, but I am seeing a small little bit of tearing effect. Um, I may need to update something like my OBS recorder or something like that. Let's get in here and try to pick up where I last left off. Everything's supposed to supposed to still be working from my understanding. So we'll find out here shortly. Get you going. Let's see. Where is there he is? Let's see. Clear that route. Combine help. Bill number 19. Has it come by yet? Okay, he's slowly working on it. So if I tell you to go like this, you'll go and actually try to empty first before you do anything. Dun, 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 dun. That is corn. Start unfolding this big guy here. Looks like in the upper left corner I'm seeing that yellow line there and it's letting me know my sheep wool pallet is up to 91% full. So it won't be long till our very first sheep pallet is ready to be, you know, delivered. Mm, trying to remember how I did this last time. Does this work with this guy? I don't remember. Auto combine, circle mode. Looks like it does. Cool. Oh, you're on normal mode. I don't want you on normal mode. Stop. Not yet, I don't want him on circle mode. Or normal mode, I mean. Okay, this guy. Well, that would work. He was on field eight, which is what I want. Field eight again. Homer. Yeah, the homeless is good enough. That's what I want. Now this guy, I don't think I told him who to look for. Okay.
finish the up down mode. We got three swipes on that other end. That'll be good enough for a turnaround. Okay, this guy. We have the bucket on the front. Oh, that's right, because we got our greenhouses back there last video. Up our forging wagon here. Okay. Everybody's in each other's way. Oh, they've over. full of straw now. Uh, so, doesn't look like I'm having too many terrible problems. I kind of think I see a little bit more of a tear down there at the bottom of the screen. Um, one of the issues I do know I was fighting and I had problems with is getting the correct video driver to update and I'm still not 100% sure I have the latest update version for my video driver. I'm hoping that's part of what's causing some of the, you know, the tearing effect. on a full load but I'm going to give part up to the cattle here. Make sure they're getting topped off.
almost seven hundred dollars for that. Okay. Having a little bit of a conflict, huh? There it goes. Let's try the normal route on this. Now that he's at least been around a couple of times. I do think that's neat the way they have all the graphical design right through there. You know, it's showing you, you know, it picks them up, digs them up. It's got the grating right there, you know, letting this dirt and all the stuff fall, falls out before it puts it on the conveyor to lift it all the way up and inside. Get him back on his course heading back. Okay, where's this big guy? Okay.
this draw. So, let's see, what else is new going on right now? Um, I'm in the middle of, you know, really, really starting to truthfully look for a job now. Um, you know, um, literally just, er everything just keeps staying on the edge, you know, changing up. Uh, I, I literally don't know my my schedule for example um, it is currently you know Thursday night when I'm recording this and yesterday Wednesday um, one of my supervisors came back from days off and was looking at the schedule and things going on um, sent three of my colleagues home said you know get too many hours they need to work this weekend um, so literally right in the middle of the day they got sent home then at roughly four o'clock in the evening, another colleague came in. And was supposed to work the night shift, and he just up and resigned his position. Uh, so by 6 p.m. last night, I'm getting a phone call, let me to know to take today off um, to uh, you know get keep my hours back because now he needs me to go out. Um, change my shift, change my rotation, my schedule, that way I can wor also work this weekend. So, that's one of the downsides right now with the, the oil industry, is things are in a constant flux, not everybody's 100% sure, knows what's going on. Um, you know, we don't know if there's going to be an oil recovery anytime soon, if it's going to stay like this. So almost anyone that's working in the oil industry right now, um, or you know, or service to the oil industry, <coughs> everything's just you know, it, it it's almost like what, what do you want to say, living on eggshells. You, you you just don't know what's going to happen. You don't know the next 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 thing that's going to get pulled. Um, it's just you know, it's it's a tough time right now for those that do work the oil industry um, I lost count if you know how many people has been laid off you know and every decision you know makes has an effect you know where whether Saudi China America anyone that has you know the oil industry um, you know they all have effects on the overall not only you know local effects to the oil but you know globally and worldwide um, every decision that's made by every country has an effect. Um, the only good thing that, you know, I've heard of people that's been through these before and, you know, have, have more knowledge and details into it is normally, you know, the rest of the market does good during these times. You know, the oil kind of suffers, but the overall rest of the economy does gain a little bit of a boost. So, hopefully that is having some positive effects on some people, um, giving them, you know, better opportunities, better jobs. Um, but, well, don't know. We'll just keep plugging away and see how things turn out. Still seeing a little bit of that tearing effect right there on the bottom of the screen. I'm not sure how it's coming out on the video, but I'm still getting those small little random glitches there on the bottom. Okay, and again, you're doing nothing. And probably because this guy finished and quit.
hold everything in. Cultivating going again. Almost done here with field 19. What's it? Maybe one more pass to the combine? Yeah, we should be able to complete it one more pass. Doesn't look like he's offloading. He's going to require a little bit of assistance. Oh, you're trying to leave. Stop. Come back here. Stop. Exit. Build 14. Drive. Let's pick up the straw here. Uh, we may have to come back for another. It's a very, very small partial load there.
Yep. Got to come back to that little strip. Pick up that last little bit that remains. Uh oh. We have slipping. Stop. Well, guys, I'm probably going to go ahead and you know end the video here right now. Um, you know, we got some more fields to harvest. Um, mainly, you know, the cornfields here that we have out here. You need to get those harvested up, put in the silos. Um, I'll go ahead and do a lot of that off screen. Um, I mainly, like I said, you know, just want to get the recording. You know, see how it's coming out. See how these videos are working. Especially now being on the new Windows 10 application, where is he going and what is he doing? You are not being that bright. Okay, guys, I'll catch you around next time. Bye for now. Please do me a favor. Don't forget to hit the like um, button, guys. Leave a comment. Hit the share button. Help me grow my channel. I would, I do really appreciate it. Um, I know my channel will never grow without your, your support. So I do appreciate it. And again, thank you. Bye for now.